All right, we're back here again with uh, SRT. I always want to say this, but it's SRT Viper Driver, Kuno Whitmer. How you doing, Kuno? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me back on the show. Um, well, let's just get to it. First race for the Viper. You're in there. Um, how would you rate it? Simple? I mean, definitely. I think that <clears throat> given that the car roughly six months ago back in January and December was still on the drawing boards so for us to you know to accomplish a seven month um, project and actually hit the track with two two very competitive cars I mean if, if you look at the whole big picture our, our priority was to finish and and we did that we finished with, with both cars in 10th and 12th position and Sure, we weren't as competitive, but we, we kind of understand that. I mean, you know, you can't just show up in the American Le Mans series and be running in a top five. I mean, we, we know that we need we have work to do, but I think that the biggest thing was that we do these races, um, especially mid Ohio, and then hopefully more coming in the season, that we that we not only make the cars quicker and um, and work on um, on structure with the car as far as driver comfort, as far as um, and chassis packages, but I think that what was so vital and so important is to keep building the uh, the team spirit and keep building the team structure for pit stops and team camaraderie between teammates and, and all that. I mean, right now it, it's so good. I've, I mean, I've, I've been competing in for 15 years and I've never had such a great family, or such a great team of people around me as far as teammates and uh, and crew. So. Not only on those levels, but the whole big picture, yes. I mean, factory team, SRT Motorsport, the Viper product, we're back in American Mons. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's another chapter in history, if you look at it that way. And to finish the first race, felt really good. All right, when, when, you, when you get to the track, I know you've been testing the car before, put a lot of mileage on it. You're at the track, um, you're doing your laps, you're doing your practice, you're qualifying your race. What parts of the car do you think need the most attention? Um, you know, what, you know that'll get you those second or two you need to be able to compete with the other. Well, I, I mean, I believe that you know through testing you learn a lot about the way the car works, about the uh, car dynamics, and, um, and again working with team. But uh, you know, nothing comes to race pace. Race weekends is a totally. This is why we have to keep making making race weekends to build. Uh, race mileage on the car. I mean, that's basically what the car needs. We're shown in testing that we're relying on, but that's under very comfortable circumstances. So once you get into a pace condition, I mean, you're, you're talking about minimum two hours and 45 minute races. So the product has to finish those races, and we haven't even stepped into, you know, the 12 hours of Sebring for next year, or, you know, hopefully at the Petite. So that kind of stuff. So we have to keep building mileage on the car. I think now, I mean, as far as the whole package goes, it's a, it's a really, really great car that Bill Riley built over at Riley Technologies. I mean, the, him, his crew, his father, Bob, along with SRT, it's such a great product out of the box already that, that you know, as far as the car being good and handling, we're, we're pretty good. We're, we're there. We, we still have a lot of work to do. But, right, I mean, the motor that we have is a, a very good motor, but we're, we're breathing through some restrictors to restrict the power on the engine you know the engine produces 640 650 horsepower but that wouldn't be fair to run up against uh, the other vehicles in the class because we'd be overpowered so the series regulates us with restrictors mm -hmm. and right now i believe that we're just a little bit more in the straightaway so that's probably the field that we need to be working on um one of the issues that i you know that's american Le Mans, how you're running the four different classes a lot of traffic they're passing slower cars from other the faster classes are past you and so vision being able to see and keeping your head around looking around for traffic is very important the viper gorgeous car got that really long hood and you're getting like kind of weighing back compared to some of the other cars Do you have any issues with being able to see out there and be able to keep the other traffic you know what it's, it's, you mentioned that actually because uh, the the consensus with the teammates was that it was it was it wasn't hard to see out the at all it was actually pretty good the vision was pretty good mm -hmm. it's just when the like the slower lmpc cars come up behind you and then pass you all of a sudden mm -hmm. you know they're very very low so that's, that's what kind of gets tricky sometimes where they just kind of pop out the last minute because they could break 100 
deeper at some point. Um, also in the car, compared to some of the other GT cars, <clears throat> our back, we don't have a glass. Mm -hmm. We have a closed, a closed cockpit wall in the back, so we don't have a rear view mirror. We have a rear view camera. Right. And if that fails, then you have to rely solely on your two mirrors up the side. So it can become tricky, but you know, I think the, I think the product is is good with just keep testing it to make sure things always stay reliable but that, that, that's pretty much what could become an issue right. um so what's in the future are will srt run the rest of the season or are they only specific races I, you know right now we we want to do mid ohio because it was a you know live coverage on abc it was a big event for for the american Le Mans series it was with indycar it was, it was a big thing for us to make that debut right now the car is back at the shop you know, they're basically stripped apart and with everything we learned on the way, we're going to apply a bunch of stuff, redesign some parts, stuff like that. Um, right now, there's no, there's no notice right now as far as going to the next events. I hopefully think we will. I mean, it, it would make sense that we, that we will, but until, until Big Boss calls me, I'm, I'm on call. <laughs> so we're just uh, look forward to more testing, but it would be very important if we got some race pace under our belt. Well, um... I have to admit, when I first heard the Viper was coming back and racing, I was happy. I'm an old Mopar, you know, and then I plus I love the Vipers. And I heard how big this team was going to be, and all these, you know, they signed you, and then, you know, Marcus, and then they, you know, even they even dragging Tommy Kendall along, and I realized, okay, this is a really big deal. And then yesterday it became official: uh, Dodge is dropping their NASCAR. Yeah. Um, you know, there's some people are saying, well, does that mean this is, are you, is your project safe? Or is this, as more as I say, as I'm thinking that Dodge and those guys and the SRT guys realize you're going to probably sell more cars for them with a Viper and American Le Mans than, you know, a NASCAR running with, you know, cars that all look the same. Right. I, mean, I think that, you know, we always need to do to realize that NASCAR, NASCAR and the American Le Mans series is two completely different worlds. And, and the budgets come from two completely different departments mm -hmm. from SRT. I mean, we, we weren't sharing any budgets, we weren't doing any of that. So now that this for NASCAR being dropped in, in, with Dodge and, uh, and NASCAR and all that, that came from strictly one, one part of the world. And, you know, our stuff is, is an ongoing program. We're looking at future. We're looking uh, far ahead so I mean as far as car sales we're specifically for the Viper Viper product you know and of course the SRT product come along with it the 300 Charger the Challenger the Jeep that's like a big thing so with that said I mean, as far as as far as them coinciding no I think that it was really a decision made really apart like nothing we don't show anything so it's uh, yeah it was it, it was kind of tough to see because there's we're still kind of a Family with them, you know. A lot of the drivers sometimes we share um, share some events together, and it's it's too bad to see that go. All right, a uh, uh, good friend just sent a, a text right now. He asked me to ask you one question. Lamas, is that on the in the future for this team for this program? I think that eventually, Tony, it is so important that one day we do go back to Lamas to show that what we what we did back you know 10 12 years ago was for real and we should go back one day and uh, and prove it again right now the priority is the american Le Mans series uh, it is next year 2013 go for the championship go for those wins and then you know, if we get that invitation yeah for sure all right kumo kumo uh kuno sorry <laughs> again <That's> congratulations okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got your name i got my last name he messes up. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, congratulations! I'm really impressed with you guys. You know, two cars, brand new cars. You get out there and you both finish the race. Um, you know, that's more than most teams have ever accomplished out there, especially in a series like American Le Mans. And hopefully, you do some more races. The petite. I got to see you guys at the petite. All right. So much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, it's Kuna Whitmer for uh, here on Oversteer TV. Take it easy. Thank you.